Good morning, welcome to number 30 Edgerton Street. Brilliantly situated on the edge of the city centre, just the other side of a bridge to my right is Waitrose, the shop's Union Canal, a range of restaurants, you've got Harker's Arms as well, or you can go along the canal into town along Frodham Street to the city walls. So it's a beautiful situation. The railway station is just a short walk to my left as well, so you're ideal for getting in and out of Chester. Also Hull Road, the A56 is close by, so if you travel by car, really convenient for that. Now this really attractive row of properties are in a conservation area, so well looked after. My client here has put some brilliant double glazed sash windows in though, so you get all the character, but all the effic efficiency as well. So it's a great position. It's not listed, but it is a conservation area, but this wonderful and very attractive property, let me show you around it. So as we go into the entrance hall, we've got this ornate ceramic tile flooring, which is really in keeping with the age of the property. And then we've got two good reception rooms. We go into the first one, the main front living room. Really cosy room. We've got the log burning stove just there. These oversized original floorboards. Column radiators, so it's been modernized. It's been modernized in keeping with the age and character of the property. So a good sized room. And say, I think those double glazed sash windows are really are the best of both worlds. So as we go from the entrance hall, we go into the dining room. Another good sized room. Doesn't have to be a dining room, but I think it works really well being straight off the kitchen. Carndine flooring, nice cast iron feature fireplace, and again, the column radiator is repeated, as is the double glazed sash window to the rear. Double cupboard here, which houses a combination boiler, which I'm told is approximately 10 years old. And then a door here takes you down to the cellar. It won't take you down there, um, but it's a really good size. It's over 15 foot wide. It's great for storage, almost like an indoor garage. So great staircase into a, a cellar with its own lighting. So you've got a bit of storage in here. And then we've got a beautifully appointed kitchen, which is only about two years old. We've got these quartz style work surfaces, not quite quartz, but actually they're more, they're better for sort of heavy loads, they don't chip. Um, there's a recessed Belfast style sink here, ceramic sink, with this beautiful gold effect tap. We're allowed UPVC double glazed windows at the back, so we've got UPVC double glazed window and door. Integrated electric oven, gas hob. And again, these units, nice soft closed drawers. I really like the racing green color set on the stone tile flooring. So into the courtyard, sadly it's a proper autumn day today, so I won't spend long out here. But what we have got is a southwesterly facing courtyard, which is walled. You've got room, as you can see here, for this L-shaped entertaining area. And when the sun actually does come out, you're gonna get a lot of afternoon sun back here. In the distance, what great views towards the city center skyline, the famous Mill Hotel Tower as well. So we go back into the house. The kitchen's got recessed spot lighting above. And then what I like of the kitchen, we've got this useful little utility area here with the kitchen units and work surface, which has been repeated as has the, the stone tile flooring. There's obviously space here for fridge freezer, plumbing for washing machine, space for a tumble dryer. And then we've got the vertical radiator here as well. So very useful space. So actually you've got a good sized kitchen just split into a kitchen and utility room. I love these two reception rooms, really good size. And then we go up to the first floor. Now I'm gonna save the best till last, which is, I love the bathroom in this property, so I'll show you that at the very end of the video. But what we've got here first is the master bedroom. Really good sized master bedroom, large bed there, plenty of room for wardrobes, drawers, and again, like I say, the sash window at the front, but a really good sized room, high ceilings help out as well. And as we go onto the landing, storage cupboard just here, loft access above. It only tells me there's partial boarding in the loft, but only around the hatch. And then we go into bedroom two, which is another good sized double bedroom. So again, excellent sized bedroom. So you've got two good sized doubles, the sash window again at the back of the house, and the views here, we can see the top of the cathedral, the mill hotel, so you really feel like you're on the edge of the city center, but you're in a quite a nice quiet backwater. And then last but not least, my favorite room. I love this bathroom, absolutely love it. It's been really well planned. I love the ornate towels on the floor. You've got the double walk-in shower cubicle, but again, antique mixer tap there. So again, it's keeping the character. It's not too modern, but it's new. We've got the claw foot roll top, roll top bath here. Again, with the antique chrome features. Beautiful having both. And the WC wash and basin with under storage. It's just a really, really nice bathroom. There's a vertical radiator just hiding behind the door and it's fully tiled along this wall here with these Metro style tiles. It's just beautifully done. The whole, the whole terrace is really well done and I think it's in a great location 
for, I'd say, walking down the canal in the morning to get your coffee from Waitrose or going for a pint at Harker's. It's a fantastic location. So I can't say anything more positive about this house other than you need to come and view it. Give us a call at Current Homes. I'd love to show you around on 01244 313 900. Thank you very much for watching.